hello and welcome to an everyday canines video. In this episode on proofing around the backs, we're looking at sequence three in our little sequence section. You've done the first two, it was a natural line, it was just off a natural line, now we're starting to get to the hard part. Look at my jumps. From your angle, they might look straight on. This jump is facing those jumps, so it's flat to those jumps, but it is slightly set back. So if I walk the line to show you, it's again level, the edge of the wing is level with this portion of the jump. We still now are able to give the dog an option by picking the right start line point to choose that wing quite easily. So if I set my dog up right close to that wing when they start, then they haven't got to really change too much to pick up the back of that wing as long as I cue it correctly. On the other hand, we now got all facing jumps. So again, a go would be quite straightforward. If you set the line here, it would just be a straightforward go. So we're now getting to that stage where we're asking the dog to actually properly discriminate. The line isn't natural anymore. The dog is gonna to have to actually work that line because unless you had a dog that landed there, which is unlikely, this is at a stage now where most dogs are gonna to want to curve in. So what we're gonna do is same cues as before, same I'm gonna be here, just using my arm to support that turn. Again, I'm gonna tell them push really early so she knows what she's doing. Go away. So setting up swift as near this side as possible. So she's actually probably looking to into the wing. So then she's got to actually choose which way she goes. Wait, go, push, push, push. Yes, good girl. I didn't lift my arm. I just waited to see what she did. And I was wondering if she was gonna do that one, but you were awesome. Good girl, good girl. Now, when we're doing sequences like this, obviously they're liable to pattern them. So what we can do, good girl, is just do a little bit of proofing. So this time I'm gonna set her up more in the middle and I'm gonna just be a different, slightly different position and we're gonna proof. Okay. Go, 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 good girl. So now I've done a straight run. Let's see, can she remember to do the push? Go, push, push. Oh, that was a good choice actually, yeah. She did what I said, I cued it a little bit too early. Good girl. Do you know what, I'm chuffed with that. Because she actually, she went, oh, do you mean this one? And she had to pick that up, that was an extreme. Because she was almost committed to taking that jump. Go, go, push. Oh, I think we've lost it now. This is hard work, they do get tired brain-wise. Go, go, push. Well, that was the correct push, but that wasn't what happened to this jump. Go, push, push. Yes, good girl. Good girl, good girl. So there you are, we got it in the end. It was because we were mixing things up, starting to get a bit tired. Did you notice, because I noticed, I actually moved in with my leg. Couldn't resist, old habits came in there. I moved in with my leg, good girl. She's liable to pick things like that up, so I've got to be careful of that. But this is getting to the extreme point. So, have a go at that. If your dog really struggles, move this jump further in, so it's an easier line, then move it back. Obviously try the other side as well. Have a go at doing straight goes, then put the push back in and see how you get on. Let me know, let me know. Did you find this easy? Did you find it hard? Let me know. If you've enjoyed this Everyday Canines video, you might have subscribed to the YouTube channel. Click the notifications icon to get the updates on latest videos. And you can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and now TikTok. And I hope to see you all again very, very soon.